Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is crazy how a one rating increase on a player pick, a popular player SBC, and an unexpected Evo can make prices turn on this market so fast. And that's exactly what is going on right now in this game with yesterday's content and future stars. I'm gonna talk about that today, go over everything that's gone on the past couple of days, market-wise, content-wise, everything else, and look at the biggest thing for content this week. All the hype on this game hinges around one change that EA could do today, that they could bring something back, or if they don't, it might get a little bit tough out here on the menus. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. First of all, before we get into everything, I just wanna say thank you for the comments and the support and interactions on yesterday's video, talking about kind of the SBC since team of the year and during team of the year and kind of the how the frustration, where it's coming from right now on this game. I read so many of the comments, guys, positive, negative, everywhere in between. And it seems like a lot of you guys agreed that the SBCs definitely had an impact, especially from a content side. Whereas the stuff right now, content in this game like honestly compare the Rykard and the Cannavaro that we're going to talk about today to like you know some of the other SBCs that we had during team of the year they're not quite on that level but one thing that I didn't talk about as much honestly because I assumed that it was much more of a guaranteed was the gameplay and I think the reason why I didn't talk about it as much because the whole point for me behind that video yesterday was to talk more about the content and thinking about what cards get into our teams as creating frustration but I know guys 100% that the gameplay this year has been just a frustration since the beginning and it's almost even hard to to explain sometimes i know we like to blame and focus on not even blame because it's facts but we talk about the ai defending and we talk about the cutbacks and how annoying that is and then ea takes away things like finesse shots and trivellas and makes them worse as those are ways to score other than doing the cutbacks and stuff like that uh, and i think it's just kind of something that i assumed was always a problem so i didn't talk about it as much and let's be honest we don't talk about gameplay as much on this channel anyway and i just wanted to share with you really quick coming out of that i just read a bunch of you guys' comments this is why it's fresh on my mind we'll get into the regular video in a second um but the way that I've been facing gameplay now and viewing gameplay in my head for like probably the past, I don't know, maybe year or so is I just play to the level of my enjoyment. I think about it like like a cup, right? And when my cup is filled and I'm like, okay, that's enough enjoyment for me or more, low, more like the cup starts full and I play gameplay and it drains my cup of enjoyment, let's say it that way, then once the cup is empty, I'm like... Okay, there's me done. And a lot of the enjoyment comes, yes, in the form of rewards. And yes, sometimes I do have unhappy times in this game, but I feel like I've had such a greater time playing on this game and I get way less frustrated on a week to week and a day to day basis of grinding the game is when I just play a couple games and, and I think, okay, I don't have to do this. I'm just doing this until I'm not having as much fun anymore. And then I just focus on the menus because the menus for me are way more fun anyways. So I just want to talk about that because there's a lot of comments in yesterday's video about gameplay. I don't disagree with you. It was just more so in yesterday's video, we were trying to talk more about the content on the menus before really focusing on gameplay so that is that but i appreciate all the interaction and support in that video yesterday and appreciate you guys that are watching the videos right now in the current state of the game that we are in now with that being said let's talk about the content that happened yesterday that is moving the market because there is still stuff going on in this game and honestly yesterday yesterday was decent man like there's a lot of things to be like wow to log in for whether it's the evolutions the sbcs or specifically this SBC, the player pick. But before we even go to that, I was not here on Saturday, obviously. I want to talk about Saturday, the content that we got then really, really fast. It's not going to take long because we only had two SBCs to talk about. Baggio, who was released with Ping Pass Plus and Technical Plus. I don't know what EA has with Ping Pass Plus right now. They're giving it out like to everybody. Like there's Evos that are giving it out. They just gave it out to Baggio. Um, I don't know. It's kind of everywhere. This is not a playstyle plus that was given out a ton, I feel, earlier on in the year. I think it's really good though. Uh, this Baggio card, he's decent. I mean, I don't know. This one to me is just kind of similar to the Icon SBCs we've had recently. They're all just kind of in like the two, the three to 500,000 coin range. And they're just like, eh. All right, if that's somebody who's emotional to you and it's somebody that you want to craft, go ahead and do it. I don't think Baggio's terrible. I don't think he's great. I think it's pretty mid. Five-star skills is always nice. His dribbling is usually pretty good. His passing, he could be a really nice center attack in mid if that type of player fits what you like to do on this game. And then also, we had an 85-plus player pick on Saturday as well, which, hey, as long as the menus are grindable with this player pick right here, the 80-plus, I'll do those 85-pluses all day long. 
sign me up. So really good chance of packing future stars out of that. Probably just the discard ones and the lower tier ones, but you know how it is. So let's move into yesterday's content on Sunday because that's what we're here for, right? The most recent up-to-date things moving on this game. Let's talk first about Cannavaro. The SBC player yesterday, we had back-to-back -back days with Icon SBCs. Baggio, then Cannavaro, the two Italians. Medium high for Cannavaro. He's got Aerial Plus and um, the Athletic Plus. Or what do we call that again? What is that one? That is um, Acrobatic Plus, Athletic Plus. Yeah, these are all athletes. They're professional footballers. Okay, he has the Anticipate, Slide Tackle, <laughs> Intercept, and Block Playstyles as well. Um... You know, guys, there's a lot of just hype surrounding this card. And I think it's because it's Cannavaro's first special of the year. And Cannavaro is just a big name in the world of football as an icon card. And I think he's also one of those icons that just hasn't had a lot of hype in this year's game, but he has in previous year's games. And that's why he's getting hype because of this SBC, right? Yes, he's short. He's five foot nine. He has medium high work rates. He has all the makings of a really good center back except for the height, right? He's got the good play styles and stuff like that, but he does that 93 jumping to kind of compensate for that. And look at his dribbling stats, 87 agility, 85 balance. He's going to be somebody that was going to move a lot faster. If you like to manually jockey, I mean, he does not have jockey. That's probably why he doesn't. Cause he's already really good with his dribbling stats, moving side to side a lot better than most center backs would. And it's probably another reason why there's a lot of hype for this card is the name and just that it's something different. And it's his first card of the year and 380 K. I don't know, man, if you put this card on the market, how much do you guys think it costs? Like I'm looking at a Cannavaro who's 380. Does this he go over price of Puyol? I think he does because he has two playstyle pluses. Um, and then Puyol obviously dropped off a bunch yesterday because of the hype of the Cannavaro SBC. But I think on the market, this would probably be around the same price, maybe 300,000 coins. Again, he'd still have hype if he was on the market as well, just because it's Cannavaro. So that's kind of the reason I think a lot of people are upvoting this SBC. Now, it all comes down to your personal preference, right? Some people are like, nah, Nate, right card, clear, because he's tall, big body, right? He's physical type player, and Cannavaro is not a physical type player. He's a little bit different. So maybe you run Rykard and Cannavaro together, but at least we have options for cool icons that have not gotten special cards yet this year to go and craft through the menus right now. Uh, but guys, obviously there's hype for this because we just mentioned Puyol, but at center backs on this game, a lot of their graphs looked like this yesterday, especially after content. Puyol was already dropping, and then at content, he goes from 240,000 coins all the way to 178 that's a huge drop like that is massive and there's other center backs in this game that are having drops in price just like that and it's not all just because of Cannavaro but some center backs are down a lot more because of this kind of our card so there's a lot of hype for him but there's also another SBC that's maybe more hyped and that is this 88 plus base Thunderstruck or Winter Wild Cards icon player pick and the thing you may not even notice about this because it seems like we've had a base Thunderstruck or Winter Wild Cards icon pick for ages now, at least the past couple of weeks uh, or times we've had an icon pick. It's the rating that changed, guys. 88 plus. And you wouldn't think that that would make a lot of difference. But man, from the, the picks that I saw open yesterday, that one change, taking out all the 87 rated icons, actually makes the weight on this player pick a lot better. Like I saw a bunch on X, Twitter. I saw a couple people posting pictures, sending me pictures. They got some good stuff from this. Now, some of them are still base icons, but, I mean, it seems like if this is going to be a craftable SBC during the week, it might be one to try out with rewards that you get 85-plus player picks for fodder going into these. And, guys, I'll tell you this, man. EA loves the same requirements week after week on these icon picks. 86-rated squad, 86-rated squad, 87 with an inform. It's like clockwork every single week, man. And guess what? That's making the fodder on that same 86-88 to 88 range rise again 88s were like 17k and we talked about it on i think it was saturday's video we said guys get involved on the fodder in the middle tier and that is exactly what boomed 86s man 86s moved the most these guys are almost 10,000 coins a piece right now and i think they were like seven and a half or 8k and that's a huge huge rise for an 86 rated card um 87s were i think like 12 and now they're 14 to 15 88s were again 17 maybe even lower than that, and now they're up to about 20, 21,000 coins. So that fodder in this middle range, because of this icon pick, is doing very good. I think even 85s are going up as well at the moment. So GG's if you got it on that fodder, and it does refresh on, I think, Wednesday? I think this refreshes on Wednesday again, two days and however many hours it'll be, right? Maybe Tuesday. 
Probably Wednesday, though. That's usually when the icon picks refresh. And then you might see another bit of a spike in that fodder. And if you're holding off, maybe you could sell it then. I wouldn't expect a ton of supply during the week. Although I do think that if the grindability of the menus decreases, then some of the hype there could decrease as well. Now, one thing I do want to mention is high rated fodder 89s, 90s. 90s are even lower. Kevin De Bruyne is the only 91 rated card in packs because Holland has the inform, right? He's 56K. That's normally what 90s are. This top tier market on fodder is very, very low still because it hasn't had a reason to continue to go up. So if you're in that range of fodder, if you're watching that part of the market, I'm with you because I'm waiting for that next big icon player SBC leak or maybe if, if Mbappe somehow pulls out player of the month and we get a leak for that, then you could see that sort of... Uh, price on the fodder to move up so we'll be watching that very very close to this week but it's going to take some sort of leak or a catalyst or expectation of something coming to make that move for right now it's not moving there's no demand informs another interesting place on the fodder market are still right around twenty thousand coins but mondays have been key days for informs in the past couple of weeks because i believe in the last two weeks we have had the 83 times 10 and the 84 times 5 both both released on mondays if i'm remembering correctly which could mean today could be the day for informs if you want to get risky on that, I feel like it is risky because these could easily stay at 20,000 coins and then you're just continuing to wait for a long, however long the next upgrade SBC is. Um, I mean, remember during team of the year, we had the 8310, then we had the 84 times 5, and then after that, they went with a lot less hype, 82 times 20, which did require an inform, but it was a lot less hype. So I'm not really investing in the informs, but it could work. Who knows what EA are going to do today and this week for content. But if they're going to go up, I think today would be the day that they would start to rise. Now, that's part of the content that made things move on the market. And I'm getting to my point with this video today and why the market's moving in other areas. But this is the next point to it. We had another evolution yesterday. The future star glow up well actually we didn't even talk about the strike force evo there's not a whole lot to talk about with this one hundred thousand coins you do get two play style pluses which i know is interesting for sure it's a sizable stat upgrade um and you know i have got plenty of cards here in my club that i'm tempted to use this evo on i mean it, rapid plus is very nice you do get power shot you get tiki talk as well it seems like it's very very like strategically placed towards strikers i think that is a striker evo for sure and i think that's what you would want to do with it if you're trying to get that one done but that one's not the one we're here to talk about today we're here to talk about the future stars glow up which i love this i think this is fantastic they're giving us an opportunity to take a fodder future star which we all have plenty of give them a play style plus there's that ping pass plus coming back into play it's not even that many games it's six games to get done you get pinged pass plus and you get a solid boost but you're basically taking a fodder card in your club who do i even have endo richardson and lamewell only in my club right now that fit this but remember this is why i said do the richardson sbc guys because he fits this like look at this card i know that he's not one of the most popular ones to do in this evo but this card is going to be insane in game medium high with long ball plus and ping pass plus with the other playstyle pluses that he has or if you're going to save it down the line for another evo that's fine too because there's so many good options from this and that's a little bit of the confusion right who do you put into this evo because it's basically taking an untradeable fodder future star and making them great. This Musa card is arguably one of the most hyped cards right now. And again, guys, there's a lot of hype for this Evo. Even though it's 50-50 upvoted, downvoted, this is one that you can tell people are doing a lot. Now, this Musa is at level 10 in the season rewards, if you did not know that. And what's crazy is I tweeted out yesterday a comparison of this Musa card to the big name center midfielder Zaire Emery in this current team of Future Stars Team 2. And it's crazy how similar both of those cards are. Yes, they have their differences, but statistically, looking at the face card stats and even some of the in-game stats, it's crazy. This card is 75,000 coins in a few games, and that Zaire Emery is 2.1, 2.2 million coins. So crazy difference there. This Musa looks absolutely insane. I wish you could do this glow up Evo more than once because there are so many cards that I want to put in this evolution, guys. I would love to put in Musa. I would love to put in Bissek. I've heard that he's so cracked. I mean, look at that card. That looks insane. Aerial plus, ping pass plus. For a center back, ping pass, okay. Same thing with Pacho. 90 pace is really dope. He's got bruiser plus as well. Richardson, we already pointed out. The Arsenal center back slash CDM. That could be a really good CDM as well. And even the objective, women's Leverkusen player. Um, Vil Hajamstadier butchered that. But rapid plus and ping pass plus for a wing player with 93 plus, uh, 93 pace, 91 passing. 
That's a really good card as well. Four star, four star. You got so many options for this Evo. I wish I could do it twice. I would pay the extra 75k to do it again is all that I'm saying. So that Evo yesterday combined with the Icon Player Pick SBC and the Conovaro SBC is really good content, guys. Like, let's just take a step back and look at that and say that is solid content with stuff that a lot of us like to get involved in a cool player sbc an icon player pick that we can craft and an evo that gives us a boost to cards that are just like new to this game that most of us have as fodder in our clubs already like that is cool right and i mean we can see it that that's what's impacting the market because when you take a look at a lot of prices and what is being impacted it all started yesterday at content look at hoyland right hoyland was 250 to 270 yesterday right around 250 at content and then just absolutely tanks after that and before you say nate what about store packs nah the, the, the store lightning rounds they've been the same for the past couple of days and there was nothing different yesterday this is all truly because people were selling cards and like this Xerxes is a perfect example of a card who people would sell to go and do an evo right or to work on that icon player pick you see this all the time right this is a common occurrence of why we have prices dropping on the game people selling cards to go buy fodder right fodder went up these cards went down you can see where those coins moved this happens all the time good content changes coins over into those SBC sections and scenarios and of course drains coins through evos as well and boom that's why you're seeing a lot of these prices drop and the cards that were hurt the most were definitely the future stars from team two because those are probably the cards that people are trying out the most and have tradable in their teams right now but even some cards from like future stars team one I still have a boniface in my team that I bought for or not in my team but in my club that I bought for 290 I think on Friday or just below 300k I guess he's still 300,000 coins but this is a card that I still have. Uh, yeah, it's right here, right? I'm kind of just lazy listening in for 337 because I still have it there. But that's a card that is dropping from Team 1. Uh, Lukiba, of course, as a center back. As we mentioned, center backs are down the most. He is down some. Lauren James is back down to where she's been. Harvey Elliott, I think his rise was stopped a little bit. Doku chilling in price too. Rodman's actually back down at 735. She was 800K. So yes, the market is definitely being impacted by this content. I'll, I mean, it's good content, man. I know that the hype on this game right now is at a very different place than it was a couple of weeks ago, and a lot of people are not super with it. But I would say that that content that we got yesterday was actually pretty good, and that's why you're seeing the movements that you are seeing. Now, I'm always going to be happy if we get good content and, and you know, it takes a little bit of the sting away if you lose some coins because we had good content, right? Well, unfortunately, well, I guess more fortunately for me personally, I was not invested in anything except for that Boniface card yesterday. Over the weekend, here's a little bit of a wrap up. You guys saw me buy a bunch of cards on Friday for the first day of Future Stars Team 2. I sold Rooney, uh, who I bought at 1.15 for 1.26, sold both Lauren James for 730k. One of them was like a break even, the other one we made good coins on, and then Boniface sold at 357. He had a crazy rise on Friday night. That was an absolute banger of a trade. And then Joao Felix as well, I picked this up randomly at 499, sold it at 547. I had all those cards sold late Friday night into Saturday, and then I did not touch the market until just a little bit ago where I picked up a Beckham for 125, a Nico, two Nico Williams at 380, and then I still have the Boniface. I think that's it, right? Oh, no, another Nico. Oh, do I have three of these? 380, 379, and do I have one on my transfer list? I have three, I think. Yeah, 382. So I picked up three Nico Williams because he's very rare, and the rare cards I remember last week during Future Stars Team 1 did the best on fluctuations, so that is why your boy is buying some more of those, and I think they'll, since they had such big price drop-offs yesterday, specifically on the Nico Williams, like, this guy started the day yesterday on Sunday as a 500k card and then just shoo, tanked all the way down with everything. So, I'm hoping that he goes back to, like, 430 or 440. And uh, especially if today's content allows it, if it's not hoping for bad content, but if the content doesn't get crazy today, he should maintain a pretty steady price and go back up a little bit on the market. So, that's what I'm thinking for these cards. But I would say last week on Tuesday, we had the 84 times 5 or sorry last week on monday we had the 84 5 and we had the 80 plus player picks which did hurt the market a bit again i don't think since that content's already been out like the 80 plus picks are still there and maybe going away today we'll see we'll talk about that in a second but i don't know if i'm expecting another 83 10 or 84 times 5 so maybe those prices will seem a little safer if we don't have any insane content today and some of these cards could fluctuate back up in price now let's talk about today right we've talked about what's going on why prices are dropping everything else what's going on today on a monday mondays are upgrade pack day right and this is the thing this is the huge massive thing about today's game we've talked about it already 
alluded to it the 80 plus player pick guys this goes away today and i need to do more of these because this is a fodder simulation machine it is in Incredible. Like, literally, I wanted to get my squad battle rewards open from the Evo games that I played this last week to get player picks so that I can open these before they go away. Like, that was literally when I logged on to the game today uh, to get in for the first time for, like, a couple days that I had been on. I was like, yo, I got to get my silver one squad battle rewards so I can open up some gold packs and get some gold commons freely in the club. These ones right here. So that I can get some player picks, man. Because these are just too good. And these are carrying this game right now. Like, there's no other way to say it. The 80 plus player pick. And yes, some of the Future Stars content being solid. Is carrying this game. But, like, if we had this content and no way to craft it. It'd be so bad. It'd make it even worse. And if this stays here today. Then the content is at least going to maintain its decent rate. And the hype is still going to stay a little bit there for the menus. But if this player pick goes away. It's going to get real quiet real quick. And guys, I got to be honest. I think a lot of times when EA have done something like this where they drop a player pick and they drop it over the weekend, most times when the next Monday comes, it doesn't come back. We get something different. So that's why my expectations are low. That's why I'm thinking that this these player picks may not come back. So if you're like watching this video and it's before 6 p.m. content on Monday, try to open up a, a couple player picks because... It, I would hate for you to like stock up on gold commons and for them to go away. That's all that I'm saying, you know? So maybe get a little bit of crafting done as we pick up an 85, an 83, and an 82. That's okay. Not bad, but it is what it is. Um, get a couple of those done if you want to. I still have to finish off this 87 plus team, the group stage. I got to do my 85 plus player picks. I have two very easy squads left of Cafu. So like these unlock the menus and I just hope that they come back again today. But we will have to see. What else is coming out today on Monday is the next question. Uh, we do have some other player species leaked. And actually, some of you guys were probably thinking this while watching us or listening to me talking about the Evos a little earlier in the video. Yesterday, EA leaked an evolution um, upgrade for an SBC that's going to be coming this week. Udoji, he was not in the mini release. We didn't even talk about the mini release, guys, because it might have been the worst mini release of all time. Like, they're all literally all the cards that were dropped in mini release are discard. Horrendous. Anyways, uh, Yudogi is coming out as an SBC, apparently. That's going to be his 88-rated card, and he fits into this evolution. So I'm in a tough spot because that's another item with Jockey Plus and Ping Pass Plus that could be very, very nice. He has 93 pace and 90 physical and 88 dribbling with 85 defense. Oh, wow. He's actually Hullet Gang with 93 pace and 90 physical. I just realized that. That's a sick card. So that for me is one where I'm like, I might have to use my 75,000 coins glow up evolution on that Yudogi. I don't know when it is coming out uh, sometime this week. There's also a couple of other leaked future star player SBCs. None of them look super crazy. They just kind of look like the, uh, you know, the cheap lower tier ones. I think that Yudogi might... He might cost a couple hundred thousand coins. That would be, uh, I mean, man, they overpriced hemp for sure. But hopefully Yudogi's like half that price. Like 250 would be nice for Yudogi, but Prem Tax is probably going to be more than that and make a Spurs fans pay out a little extra for that one. But interesting links, if you have any Italians, like they're going full Italian with the SBCs. I mean, Baggio, Cannavaro, and now Yudogi. So I don't know what's going on there, um, but little Italian push. So if you're Italian, you're loving life for that so watch out for a player SBC like that today maybe the next couple of days we see a few more of those drop i don't think we're getting any more icons though i think those two that we had over the weekend were all that we're going to get and of course we're looking out for an ea content tweet oh yeah savio is the other one savio is another card that we're looking out for he could be pretty good genuinely it could be pretty nice uh with the brazilian links in the league one um and very much so a pacey winger card so watch out for that but then yeah guys i do think there could be a ea tweet today about upcoming content of the game and maybe they give us news about a player of the month league one which i think is actually very possible that they do go ahead and do that and that would maybe start the investing a little bit in people saying hey i think Mbappe might win it and they're going to go invest i still believe that ben yetter is going to win it so i'm not going out and investing until i see a true leak and i'll pay a thousand coins higher per 90 rated card if they start going up um you know ahead of time or whatever so yeah i'm gonna wait for a leak on that but i don't know like anything crazy to expect this week we have a cup to grind like i mean if you want to grind this game if you have a little bit of motivation to be like you know what i'm enjoying things at the moment the menu grind is good the content's decent which i do believe that it is amidst all the definite um like frustration with the game like it's really like a balancing act right now the content in some areas is solid 
in some ways. But if it's not the content that you enjoy, then you're probably pretty pretty frustrated, right? And I totally understand that. But there is a cup with decent rewards. So if you want to grind that a bit, that is there. And foot champs is still extended. So like I'm still in qualies. I might just do my uh i might just gift the wins and then start foot champs and then i feel like i can space the game out over the day and since they're extended to monday maybe get ourselves nine wins just hopefully it's not too much of a grind and uh yeah at least get a little bit of rewards out of that we'll at least get some quality rewards too that we can put into some 80 plus player picks before they go away today so that's the video for today guys let me know down in the comments again what you liked from the video today, what you agreed with, especially with some of the things we were touching on with the content. Now, it's a lot of opinions come out with that stuff, and I'm all here for it. I love the comment section for that, being able to kind of voice your opinions and voice all that, um, albeit hopefully in a respectful way, especially to other people. But, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions as well, and I will see you guys in a stream today. I'm happy and glad to be back and getting on the stream grind. So I'll see you guys there. That link is down below in the description as well. It's been Nathan with Counting. See you guys there. Peace out.